The past few days have felt like a very slippery slope. Last week, I was still incredulous about the severity of where we were all headed. And I wouldn't in a thousand years have believed that we'd actually be talking about shutting down our workplaces, our stores, our religious centers, and even our borders. We're all talking about social distancing and with infections rising by the hour. Even here in London, um, I've learned that overnight, three people tested positive for the coronavirus. I'm not going to question why or how we got here. And I'm going to treat this like I'm driving on black ice. You can't see it, but you know you have to slow down and take precautions. You have to stay safe and make sure that others around you are equally safe. I'm also not going to lay blame, find humor, or even scan conspiracy theories because this has all become very real, very fast. But I am going to remind myself that wherever I find myself headed, I don't want to be driven by hysteria or fear. I, I want to make sure that I can practice as much compassion and empathy as I do caution and common sense. This world event is a reminder that we need to feel with each other now more than ever. We need to support each other. Our businesses need our support. Communities need our support. This is also a reminder of what people in less than ideal societies live with every single day. We, we are growing hysterical by the lack of toilet paper, but in many countries and even in our own neighborhoods, there are vulnerable people who don't have access to soap and clean water. Many go to bed hungry and can't afford a roof over their head or put essentials on the table for their children. So please, the next time you're out stocking up, remember that and remember to have hope that if we all behave compassionately as much as we do cautiously, the fear will eventually subside and so will this disease. It's going to be hard, but we need to look beyond the emotional stress we are all falling into. We need to extend a hand to others and we need to throw them a rope of hope and work together to get out of this hole safely. So please stay positive, stay safe, and stay kind.